If you're like me and want to 100% every area of Black Myth Wukong, here's three things you can easily miss in the first couple chapters. All right, so boom, you're going to want to go to the Yellow Wind Ridge, okay? And you're going to want to go to the place where you fought the Crouching Tiger, okay? So you're going to go to the Crouching Tiger Temple and the Temple Entrance, okay? At this point, you should have already gotten the mask that opens up the blood pool right up there put the mask in it opens up the blood pool it opens up this area down beneath now you're gonna want to go down you can ignore all these people once you get to this point you're gonna want to stop right here the table is right up there okay in this area, this area right here is exactly where you want to be. You want to start sliding, you want to jump, have an attack, boom, you get up here and you get that. And if I'm not mistaken, it gives you this soak for your gourd as a buff. Pause to read. Next, this one is in the beginning of chapter three. So you're going to want to go to the new west, no hill path, and it'll be the same area where you fought the dragon in mirror mirror now if you haven't moved forward in the game after beating the dragon here you would know it, it takes you to the prison area so you have to finish the prison area and get out before you can come back here or at least get to one of the shrines in the prison area to come back here and you come right on the lake they let you traverse this whole lake granted there's only one thing on it there's nothing else on it so i'm gonna take you right to the spa okay And there you have it. Right here. On the opposite side of the lake. This one also gives you a, a buff for your gourd. This one's epic though. And helps out your immobilized spell. Again, pause to read. Now this next spot is easily missable. It's also in the third chapter. Okay, but you're going to be going to the Pagoda Realm. After you defeat the, the boss before the Manny Wheel, you got the shrine outside the Manny Wheel. That's where you want to travel to. Now, when you get here, you're going to want to follow the path that you originally take to continue your journey forward. And then you want to get here. Okay. Now, when you get here, this part is easily missable, right? It's the same area where you pick up one of these pots again to get health, mana, or stamina up. You break the bamboo, man. You break it. You go back. And there's a whole arena here. There is an enemy here when you first come here, but because I killed him already, he's not there. And then, boom, you have yourself a meditation spot for an extra spark. That is easily missable, easily missable right in this area. And this is what I found for being a loser and trying to find everything possible on the map. So whatever I find, you'll find because I'll keep posting more hidden things that I find on each part of each map in each chapter of Black Mavukong.